Welcome back to Pizza Tower, the noise update! Him in his little pink pajamas, he's like the piggy bank you see on the right. Full of money. Full of money? Well, not after, uh, noise that comes to collect. Still gotta get some cash for that, so we gotta head back to the fourth floor! Oh yeah, we're in the shit level. Yeah, we are in the shit level. <laughs> I mean, great levels. Literal shit. Levels. It's the poop level. Yep. The poo levels. Remember when they were uh, playing this for GDQ, everybody kept uh, saying ways to, you know, it's like, oh, like, uh, different ways to say, oh, shit, without saying shit. Oh, crap. We got, we, we got snotty here. But me, I, I, I went a different way. I thought about going a different way. I thought about uh, what was my favorite way to talk about uh, the uh, excrement ex the uh, excrement expletive ex uh, something exceptional ex escapade that's it escapade excrement okay. expletive escapade I like that this works a little bit but there we go got old man lime down here or tangerine or whatever his name is. Old man Peppa? He doesn't do anything, but we can punch him back. Alright. Just murdered a man in cold blood, it's fine. How dare you, noise? What All the right. heck? On to the pig city! Things are a little different here, because we can now float up with the balloons that are just, you know, kind of grasping onto one of these balloons for dear life. More control in a fast character? What the heck? Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I knew he would be the one with the gun. Oh, fantastic. All right, so uh, we got a couple of stories, I suppose. Uh, yep. Couple, you... uh, a couple weeks ago, I uh, gave the idea that oh, the, these things are different now. <laughs> I know. Uh, it was uh, we we were to visit a pizza place that we have never been to before. Also, I talked about uh, visiting Domino's once again because it's been like a couple of decades since I've actually had Domino's. So... Are they still as bad as, as they are? So, uh, why don't we start with? Your brand new pizza joint, right off the bat. Go ahead. I went to, I'm not sure if it's a chain, but it is a place that has plenty of lovely Italian food, but also a make your own pizza with a lot of ingredients that I wouldn't expect. Like these are ingredients you're not gonna find at your Pizza Hut, your Donato, your anything like that. These are ingredients that are fresh, and I decided to get experimental with it. I got a little nuts. Interesting. Got a little nuts with it. What do you got? So, my pizza of choice, and by the way, I should mention that these pizzas, every single one of them came with fresh mozzarella, mm -hmm. and they were all wood fire baked. Hmm. So, given the options, I went with a little bit of uh, fresh garlic, kielbasa, ooh, artichoke hearts, <laughs> Italian sausage, and that that was the lot. Yeah, it was fabulous. The one thing I would have changed is their sauce was very. I'm not gonna say it was boring. It was good, but it was it was lacking that pizzazz, and I wanted a like a little extra sweetness, maybe maybe a little bit heat. Maybe that's to compensate for the uh, unique toppings that they have. Correct. They want to have the sauce to overpower that, or, or indeed muddle mud, muddy that up. There were extra sauce options, but I just went with, you know, default, just so I wouldn't, you know, go instantly crazy. But, uh, yeah, that combination, uh, fully agree with. Artichokes, actually really good on pizza. Hmm. And, uh, kielbasa is just, every time I see it on a menu, I'm like, yes, please. Kielbasa is interesting, I have to try that. Uh, yeah. the artichoke hearts, you lost me. Yeah, you, you, you gotta have a heart. That was pretty good. Gotta have a harder sell for me on that one. It worked well with the uh, different meats that I got, like with the Italian sausage and the kielbasa. It actually worked out pretty well. But it was it, it was pretty good then. Yeah, yeah, it was good. How did it sit with you? You mean like afterwards? Yeah. Oh, it was perfectly fine. I even had uh, scampi flatbread as well, and that was scampi flatbread. Oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> that sounds like uh, you went to a very unique, interesting, and authentic Italian joint. Absolutely, and uh, total retail price for the pizza was like 16 bucks. 16 bucks? Wow. And the, uh, the shrimp scampi bread was... It was more expensive because, you know, it's shrimp, so it was like 12 bucks. Oh my god. The bacon room! In the bacon room! He's come. Well, it sounds like you had a lovely experience. Uh, I went to, d to uh, Domino's. I'm so sorry. Just because, you know, curio absolute curiosity. 
Uh-huh. It has been decades since I've been to Domino's because, you know, if I want cheap pizza, I go to Little Caesars. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if I... <laughs> Well, we're in jail now, and uh, that means we gotta go uh, to the noise! To us, yeah. Except sometimes he has blue gloves, I suppose. Okay. So, if I want uh, pizza, I've got several other places I would go, aside from Domino's. Uh huh. I've always thought it was suspicious the way Domino's is just desperate for you to- for them to get their food to you. They are desperate. I saw that, yeah. They, they, ma they make it cheaper. It's like, well, we'll tip you if you come enough times. So we'll get you free pizza. Like, not even pizza does free pizza anymore. Not really. Not like not like the way it used to. Definitely not anymore. So, I'm like, okay. They got this deal for, like, you know, uh, get, get two or more things for $6.99. All right, Pizza Hut has that. You know, I can make it a better shot. Got a medium pizza. And I got some of their uh, stuffed cheese bread. Stuffed cheese bread, okay. I can get behind that. Yeah, stuffed cheese bread, that was actually, that, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I think I had way too much cheese for its own good because, you know, it's it's, a, it's bread, it's stuffed with cheese, uh, they put cheese on top of that. Okay, I mean, on on top you lost me, but inside, absolutely. Inside, yes, and, and also on top, and it, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. So the pizza. Yeah, how's that medium pizza? So so I got, uh, they, they uh, were uh, saying this, uh, we got this new, uh, New York style pizza. <laughs> it's a robust, robust Italian sauce, uh, uh -huh. sauce that we're using, and you can fold the pieces up and you know, all that. So, um, I figured out why Donato's food is so cheap. Domino? D Domino's, I mean, yes. Figured out why everything is so cheap at Domino's. It's a cheap product. Everything is frozen. Oh no. Oh no. I tasted this pizza. Oh no! I, I, it, it was it was uh, this New York, New York style pizza, and Domino's has a lot of toppings. I'm surprised, a lot of toppings. So I got a pepperoni and salami pizza. Okay, I like salami on my pizza. You don't see it around that you know that often anymore. Yeah, good idea. It tasted oh, like freezer burned. Oh, it just just. I, I ate about half of it. I'm just like something's up with this pizza, and I didn't I didn't finish it. Oh God! It just, just something is off with it. Like the the sauce was I don't, I, I don't know. It just it, the, it, it was it was weird. It just didn't sit right, and I felt like crap the morning after. Oh, that's the worst. Like like I wasn't like sick or anything. It just it's like oh that's just hmm. I did, I did not have a good meal last night. Not good, not good. So, that's why I don't eat Domino's. And the crazy thing is, I think it's just a, an our state thing. Because other states swear by it. It's gotta be just our cheaping out over in our area. It's gotta be, right? Well, I mean, I've had cheap pizza. I eat frozen pizza, you know, pretty frequently. But those are good. Not not like I'm that discerning of my, of my taste. It's just... Domino's, it just didn't do it for me. Oh, Makes me appreciate Papa John's just a tiny bit more now, but they're bad for a different reason. Back to that noise! Not this noise, that noise! Are we going down the shitter? Oh, yeah, we are. Holy crap. So then that morning, I went and got uh, a gas station pizza wrap kind of thing. I'm telling you, gas station slices, man. And that, and that was actually really good. Hell yeah. Crust was better. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, everything was also full of grease as well. <laughs> like not oh. like not like the good kind of grease, but like like a congealed kind of grease. It just it was it was dripping. Did not appreciate. Would not would not go for again. Back to Little Caesars for me. Yeah, because at least Little Caesars is good at the time of buying. <laughs> it sounds like uh, Domino's is just like it wasn't even good at time of buying. <laughs> it's just bad forever. <laughs> exactly, it's just bad forever. Well, I'm sorry you had a bad experience. I I need to take you to the place I went to get some authentic Italian food. It, it was for science. It was for science, and I can't fault myself for that. Well, thankfully we don't have to do the scientific method for Domino's to see if you just got a bad batch or something like that. We yeah, can actually yeah, yeah. we can just assume it's all going to be like that. No, I have to ask. Was it the one close to us, or was it at a different one? It was the one close to us. Okay, yeah, that one's kind of notorious. That's been that's been around for 
forever. Forever? Far too long. Like, I remember being in elementary school and it, and it being there. Oh, dear lord. Not even our Kranos has been there for that long. <laughs> At least I don't think. Eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, where to next? Uh, I wanna go to- oh shit. Ooh. Let's change our clothes to the occasion. Who should we be? Let's be the, uh... Let's be the boys! Boise! Sounds good. Going straight to Idaho. You know, the shittiest place. Oh shit. What are you talking about? This ain't Missouri. I can name any state and, and people be like, you know, hey, or ha ha, got, gotcha. That's the best part about insulting states is a majority of the people when you say, like, our state, it's like, yeah, Ohio sucks. A lot of Ohioans will be like, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, almost every state has that where you could just be like, yeah, this, this is something funny about this state. And they're like, yeah, that's right, that's right. I think my favorite one is, uh, I keep hearing the, our state has only four seasons. Uh, like, summer, summer, still summer, almost summer, and construction. It's like, well, that's like that for, I've heard that joke for, like, every state. Yes. Did we become a cheese rat? We did become a cheese rat. That's how the noise changed from being a, a, a cheese zombie, I suppose. He's now a cheese rat. Okay. Got a hypothetical for you. Sure. If we had different... Pizza rats, or rats that could make pizza. I'm giving you two options here. Which one would you rather have make a pizza for you? Okay, yeah. We got Remy from Ratatouille, mm -hmm. and we got Rizzo from the Muppets. Who's making the better slice? Is this even a serious question? Uh, somewhat, because I can see pros and cons of both. I think Remy entirely. Remy entirely because of the because of the training, because of the French cuisine, because of the training, because of his his artistic expression when it comes to food. Like you know, the, like the way he talks about food. Like he, not even humans talk about sometimes. <laughs> not only that, but uh, he does the whole pulling the hair thing on top of the humans' heads. So yep. he's got the sanitation thing going on. Don't gotta worry about dirty rat hands touching your food. It is a human's hands whose hands are washed, of course. You know. I, whether Remy made him do that or not, I, I, I don't think is important. <laughs> See ya. See, and also, Riz is kind of a jerk. <laughs> Remy's way nicer. Exactly. I heard I heard this exact conversation, and this is why I wanted to bring it to your attention, because it was so funny. Actually getting responses, just being like, No, Rizzo's disgusting! <laughs> I don't want to make him pizza for me! I don't care how good the New York slice is! Just, no! You know, Remy suits up, he, he actually washes his hands, so yeah, you're right, he has the sanitation part going, uh, going down. Like, do you want a, like, do you want a guy cooking free food, a guy who washes his hands whenever, whenever he gets a chance, or do you want a guy who just doesn't? Have you ever had, like, authentic French cuisine? No. That shit is, like, A plus every time perfect, because it has to be. French cuisine has made its own reputation in being, like, this is either going to be absolutely perfectly made, or we'll redo it because it's not up to our standards. They have very high standards there. So, yes. Remy all the way. That's why I prefer Mexican food. Throw it all in the pole and just... There you go! <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, do you think this will taste good? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Alright. I do like seeing little cheese rat noise. That is very funny. Because <laughs> it's just like, you know, micey cheese, he becomes cheese mouth. It's cute. Because he is a little rat, I know. He is a little bastard. Oh, he is now garbage. Wait, those are noise stickers, aren't they? Are they? I thought they were. Oh, no, it's actually it's, just garbage. It's, it's just junk. Okay, never mind. He doesn't get the frying pan, he just kind of just leaps out. I think that was a box of Captain Crunch. Shit pie. Mm, yum. I mean, what? Shitty pizza, like... like the, the, that that Domino's pizza had to have been, like, about a 4 out of 10 for me. 4 out of 10? Wow, that's actually more generous than I thought. Because I think the experience works with having a good pizza. Like, if you go to a place that's just, like, they love making pizza for customers, that adds to the experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. With Domino's, it just sounds like you felt bad the day after. That would deduct some points from me. The reason why I don't really order from Domino's is because they're they, they're not on DoorDash. 
I get DoorDash a lot, more, more often than I should, really. Wait, really? And, uh, yeah, I, d I didn't see him on DoorDash at all. That is insane! Everybody's on DoorDash! And then when you get... They want you to, to get their apps so you can get their coupons and all that. I guess. Maybe they're just that cheap. Possibly. It's either that or their profit margin is doing very well. Hmm, wonder why that could be. Because they hired Hatsune Miku, of course! Look, it worked in Japan, okay? I got okay? new clothes! I got, I got a banana peel clothes! Nice! Is that for slipping on 10 banana peels, I assume? Probably. Something like that, yeah. Something foolish, I'm sure. Uh, that noise boy be running through the pipes a million miles a minute, turning himself into shit. Can't believe it. Theory that uh, because it's the most shit level, it's not cheese that you're supposed to be uh, hit with. It's supposed to be, <clears throat> yeah. What? Shit! Oh, oh! Yellow shit? I, I mean, like, just imagine it brown. But then they thought that was too disgusting, and so they changed it to change cheese. The cheese, yeah. We need to get the initial design docs of Pizza Tower and see if it was actually shit or if it actually is supposed to be cheese. Yeah, that's, that cheese is suspiciously goopy. I mean... Mm, maybe it's just because I don't want to think about that. That's my tinfoil theory, at least. Take the hat off. It's but, fine. But it fits so well. But, it but, makes sense. Uh, but this is a poopy level, so why not make the poopy said cheese? Why doesn't anybody want to hear my pizza theories? I'm trying to think if there are any other places close to us that we can test out some other pizzas. Because I want to hear a good experience from the both of us. Because hearing that like Domino sucks is just like that's not news. It, it isn't news, but it is a it is a reconfirmation of uh, old data. Still bad, indeed. Would I have it over Papa John's? You know, I think I would. What? Wait, no, no, no. I, I'd, I'd have Papa John's over Domino's. Okay, I was about that's, to that's say. That's what I meant. But I would have Little Caesars over Papa John's. Though. That, that I will say. For me, it's the convenience for Little Caesars. It's just like, oh, five dollar hot and ready pie. Nice. At least I get something halfway decent when I pay that little. <laughs> Oh yeah, it, can I ask how much did you pay for the Domino's? It's like, a, oh, between the pie and, and the and the bread, it was like about 15. That's extremely cheap, actually. <laughs> Last time I had pizza, my large stuffed crust pizza was like $16. That was a large stuffed crust pizza. This is a, this is a piddly medium pizza. Oh, okay. Plus some cheesy bread. We're better off getting uh, some real pizza somewhere else. Or hell, even make it yourself. I'm about ready to. Maybe that's what I should do for next week. Make your own pizza? Make my own goddamn pizza. That sounds awesome. Because you can control how much sauce is on there. Should hell, I... if you make your sauce by scratch. Should I make my own dough? Uh, hey, if you got the space for it, it would be cheaper in the long run. It'd be a project. I think I might try that. Making your own pizza? Yeah. Okay, here's a pizza question, and I think this is a very niche pizza question, but I've had it before. And it's actually a niche question. Yeah. Have you ever had Neo Kobe pizza? I have. Awesome. I don't know if I've had it right, though. Uh, I just took a Little Caesars cheese pizza slice and put it in ramen. That was my Neo Kobe pizza. I've, I've seen Dunking. Yep. Uh, Vi loves Neo Kobe pizza. Very good. Actually, very good. It, it adds to the broth, it really does. Just that little Caesar scum. <laughs> That's a bad way to describe it, but it's the first word that came to mind. It's part of the broth, man. Let's hang it the flavor. You know how you get like a take scum off the top of broth? You know, just throw pizza in there. There you go. But don't get rid of it. As to the flavor. I prefer a s and salt or a pepper. Thank you. Oh, I missed one. Aw, oh, man. Damn it. I don't even know where. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> well, it looks like we're ready to move on. We can go, can go to the boss level already, but, uh... Holy cow. Still got two more levels to take care of. 
So, next time on Pizza Tower Noise update. Oh, didn't mean to go in here. We'll be hitting up the rest of floor four. See you then! Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs>